welcome. You need to do the surrealistic projects? Well, here's where we're going to figure out how to do it. A lot of talk about it. We did it in class. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to focus on the project. The project is a surrealistic process that we're going to try to duplicate. So we need to start out the first day we took watercolor and we covered the backgrounds. And I think you may have already seen a bunch of pictures I'll put on there. Examples of finished product. And then the next day, we blobbed on some a drier, um, pure, more pure pigment, so it's darker, making blobs. So the trick here is to think about clouds, smoke, blobbing the paint rather than streaking it, because those are hard to find images in, right? Or splattering it. A million dots is hard to find an image in a dot, all right? So you want more of a marbled cloud, like when you look up at the clouds and you try to see things, um, that's a surrealistic process. Okay, so let me point the camera down on here and we'll uh, see what we can find in this picture, ones I haven't found already. Okay, so it's all dry. Put it under book at night to um, flatten it out. Then you come back and you try to find and pull out the images that you see in the blobs. So you see some I've already done. So you got an empty blob like that. I like doing faces for some reason. I see a nose here, see a mouth here, double chin, maybe there's a, an eye there, and the hair. Right, it could just fade off to nothing, or you can make more out of it. Okay, so you just keep doing stuff like that. These are splats where I blew on it. And it made it go out crazy. Same with this guy. And here's like could be a, I don't know, a dog. Let's pause there. Goes back and I can't seem to make anything else with that. Some whiskers. Um, what else can we find? You can use the white areas to find something. Little guy there. The negative space could be a shape that's recognizable. Maybe something crazy. I'll do it upside down for us. Looks kind of evil. Put some crazy in there. Alright. We'll have to look to see this one. You can use chalk to go around and chalk areas out. That's what I did here. This was chalk, like a footprint. I think I'm seeing something here. Maybe some kind of bird. Side lines, bird there, and that's the process. You just go around and find as many things as you can. If you can't see something one way, turn it. Maybe you see it this way, turn it. Might find some more, then it makes sense. Might keep turning things around. And find like a Shepherd, happy dog. You know? Show me what you see. And that's it. Enjoy, it's a lot of fun. Okay, let me show you how to get the paint on there in a small piece of paper, and then we'll look for objects in the one that I've already finished. So sometimes it's nice to get the paper all wet. Because otherwise you just make streaks. You can run it under the faucet. This will help it bleed out better. Okay. And then when we take our paint, so we take some red here, 
Just like that. Look at that. Cool, huh? Create some marbling. Change colors. Let's do crazy green here. Alright. Switch to maybe some. Oops, I still have green in there and yellow. using a lot of crazy colors you don't have to there's no wrong answer notice that they're blobs they're not dots don't do this well, this runs out nicely makes you find stuff <laughs> Ooh, a lot of water on there can take a while to dry you can clean off take water off by drying your brush just Put it on there, it'll suck it up. See? Bring it up, suck it up. Okay, it's getting too wet. Bring it up, suck some of this up. Maybe we can try to actually use this one. You see anything already in there? Images? Okay, that's how you want to start. Let that dry. You can come back with more on top of that when it's dry with sharper lines, sharper edges to it. That'll create a fun background. So let's take some other colors here. Make some interesting shapes. Just blob it out there. Some other colors one we haven't used yet, some orange. More pretty thick there. That's interesting. Some you can blow to create some interesting things. Oh, I just blew all right into it. See, now the paper's dry, so it's making sharper edges on the, uh, the ink I'm putting down. The pigment. Let's see, we got green already, but we can do some more green here. Typically avoid black because it could deaden. Just you're gonna be circling it in black. Here's what black will do, a nice silhouette. Alright. Okay. Let's let that dry and see what we can find. Maybe you already see some things. So again, under the hair dryer, now it's dry and ready to go. Do you see things already in there that could be drawn out? Show me what you see. So, I'll just start doing some crazy things. Draw it around. There's this line. Alright. Choose. You don't have to go with that. You can go with this other one. Right. And there's something. Saw a little creature there. Maybe that's interesting here. Don't be afraid to put inside lines. 
lot of people just do the silhouette of it. Um, I mean, things like this, you can go around the whole thing and it's just an interesting shape. It's too, I think, complicated there to be. You can go around all this. And it just pops it out. I mean, if I want to put some eyes here, there's a mouth, a monster, but I don't know, I'll just leave it with that. Um, some things are more obvious than others. I don't know, they stand out. Again, I see a face here. What's he doing? There might be a possibility to put some body and legs. There's his foot. 